Hi, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace and diagnose uh, rear lights not working on a 1999 Toyota Solera. This process is the same for the model years from 99 to 2002. Um, you can see here the lights are off. The most common problem one would think would just to check the light bulbs and replace the bulbs. However, when you do that and they still do not light, then you would know there's another issue. So we're going to go around to the front of the car so we can see what the problem is. So upon looking into it, we realized that the, we're going to check the wiring to the reverse light switch. As you can see, the switch is right here, and this is the wire harness that's going to it. Okay. So first thing we want to do, we want to make sure we're getting 12 volts going to the light switch. So in order for us to do that, we're going to hook up a test light, which you see here. We're going to connect one end to the negative terminal. And you want to make sure you're getting 12 volts. So you'll see that red light come on. So that means 12 volts is going uh, to the full. So once we want to find the wire harness here, and we want to light it up check to make sure we're getting 12 volts of power. So nothing's lighting up, so I want to make sure we got the motor on and that the electricity is flowing through. So right now the accessories are on and again we just want to check to make sure we are getting the voltage that we need. Okay, so you can see that's lighting up. So we know the fuse is good, the wiring is good because we are getting power. So the next thing would lead us to believe would be the switch is faulty. So we're going to remove the switch. We're going to need a 27 millimeter socket along with an extension uh, on a half inch ratchet. We want to make sure it's on switch to the left. So I know it's going to be tough to see, but you want to fit that on there. And you want to turn until you break that loose. Okay, so once that's loose, you can kind of get in there with your hand and pull the rest of the switch out. And there it is. And that's your reverse switch. You can tell it's been in there for about maybe 10 or 10, 11, maybe 12 years. Okay, so we want to put a new one. So this is a new switch here. You see, this is the part number. It's a genuine Toyota part. I recommend using a Toyota switch. Um, aftermarket ones don't always work so well. So once we got our switch, see, it's new. It comes with a new washer. Okay, so we want to put that on. And we we'll make sure we grease the thread so it makes it an easy transition when we screw that back in. Okay, again, we're going to hand tighten this and then we're going to tighten it with the ratchet. Again, if you want to take a look down here, you can see the opening right there where it's going into. And when you put that in reverse, that's going to move up. And once that gear moves up, it pushes this part in and that's what activates the light. Actually, before I do this, I just want to wipe off the residual oil that came up. Just grab a napkin real quick. I just want to make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, that looks good down there. Thank you.
Then we're going to put a ratchet on it. And we'll switch it so it turns to the right to tighten it. We're going to hook our wire harness back up. You can see this clip here that's going to go and line up with the top. Okay. So if you want to take a look down here, we'll see the wire harnesses in there. Right here. On the switch, now we'll go around to the back of the car and we'll see if the lights light up. Okay, as you can see, the reverse lights are on. We see the one side, and we see the other side. So everything's working the way it should be. Bulbs are good, switch is good, wiring is good, and we are all set. Thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe.